Hey guys, what's up? Lugia XC2000 here, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at this box that contains the rarest Omnitrix ever. Oh my god! Wow! And we're gonna open it up on this channel, so stick around, because you're not gonna wanna miss this. So for those of you that haven't seen this video right here, this is a promo box that was given out to members of the press when Ben 10 Race Against Time came out. And if we take a lid off of this box here, we are greeted with the Deluxe Omnitrix. You can't find this baby anywhere, at least not in mint freaking condition, still inside the box. And uh, we're gonna open it. So here goes nothing. Wow, here it is. What is it? Does it smell? Oh my God. <laughs> it has that new toy smell too. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. This thing's been in the package for, I wanna say, when did it come out? 2006, I believe, 2007? Yeah, 2007. This thing has been inside its packaging for 13 years. Wow, that's just crazy. So I don't know if there's any batteries in here. Pressing the buttons, trying to turn the dial. Ooh, listen to that click. That sounds awesome. <laughs> I love that. But yeah, I don't think, um, I wonder if there's batteries in this. Let me see. There should be. I mean, it is 13 years old. I wouldn't doubt if it, uh, it's out of batteries. Batteries not included, wow. So uh, yeah, let me just put some batteries in this and we'll be right back. So as soon as I put the batteries in, it just turned on and I do not see any like on and off switch anywhere. But um, yeah, let's just go over the basic functionality first before we dive into the game feature. So it seems like you can press it down, but it doesn't like click or go all the way in. Oh, okay, what'd I do? Ooh, I guess I'm turning into an alien. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> what? I just had Ben 10. Oh, heat blast, that's cool. So it looks like I turned into heat blast accidentally. Oh, so when you press this button, I guess you can get out of being an alien. So that's pretty sweet. From a design aspect, it looks really, really good. It looks so close to the original Omnitrix that we all know and love. There's a strap that goes on your wrist. And it looks like the strap is too small for my wrist. Wow, it's like barely on my wrist. <laughs> I mean, I guess this was meant to be on the wrists of children and not a grown man like me. Just gonna take this off though, just cause it's a little uncomfortable for me. So let's go over the different modes. So this is the normal mode. That's the mode that I pressed into by accident when I first turned this Omnitrix on. That's how I was able to turn it into heat blast. So I guess if we press it down, we'll turn it into an alien. So when you press it once, it brings you to the alien selection. So we have heat blast, and if we turn the dial, stink fly, heat blast again, wild mutt, ghost freak, oh, that's cool. I really like how this clicks. It makes a really cool clicking sound. I like it. Upgrade, gray matter, ooh, forearms, rip jaws, accelerate, diamond head, and stink fly. I think that's, yeah, that's everything, right? So it just looks like the 10 original aliens, which is not a surprise, but uh, yeah, let's just press on upgrade, see what happens. <laughs> That's so cool. Ooh. So I, I guess it makes like punching sounds when you press on it once you're an alien. So to change out of the alien, go and press this button. And it will turn you back to human and you can select different aliens. So that was pretty cool. Your normal mode is, it's the normal standard mode that you'd expect to select aliens and turn into them, which is pretty cool. So let's see what other modes this Omnitrix has to offer. We have battle mode, status mode. What is that? option mode and normal modes. I guess we'll try battle mode next. So press down on that. So we have a picture of Ben running. What are we doing next? Can we turn this? Does it do something? It doesn't do anything. What? What are you supposed to do? Press this button maybe? Is it supposed to be doing something? What? <laughs> Why isn't it doing anything? Oh, we got something. Transform to accelerate. Okay. We want to accelerate. Where is accelerate? There we go. Oh, wait, what? Why did it go to Diamond Head? I didn't want, what? No, I wanted to accelerate. What just happened? Di, what? Missed, of course, I lost. I, you got, huh? I picked accelerate, what? This game is rigged, what the heck? Okay, let's try that one more time. All right, who we get this time? Who is that? She looks familiar, I just don't remember the name. All right, transform to upgrade. All right, let's see if it will let me Transform to the right alien this time. All right, accelerate, no. Diamond head, no. No, where's where's upgrade? Where is upgrade? There's upgrade. All right, 
Looks like that worked this time. We turned upgrade. Cool. Nice. Just press, keep punching. Ooh. Yeah. You're going down. Ha, I won. Yes. I won. <laughs> Best time too. Look at that. It's kind of neat. So let's see. What is status mode? Data file. Oh, so I keep track of your score. Aliens, villains, score. Oh, aliens. I wonder, can you unlock other aliens? Is that a thing? U.S. Wild Mutt. Ghost Free. Uh, it looks like it just keeps a database of like all the aliens and like their name. Status mode just gives you score and names of aliens. And we just did the battle mode. We did normal mode and option mode. Sound. Sound is... We want that on. Why would we want to turn the sound off? This is the best thing about this freaking thing. What a screen. What does that do? Does it make it brighter or something? I don't know. Ah, oh, I hate that. They advertise four different modes and two out of the four modes aren't even fun. They're just like settings and like stats. <laughs> like what? <laughs> That's kind of stupid. But other than that, it's really cool how they have that functionality of like being able to play a game on here, which is pretty cool. Even though the game's kind of, I don't know, it's meh. But aesthetic wise, it looks really cool. I really love all the, the side detailing that they did too. And this would make for like a really great display piece or if you wanted to cosplay as Ben 10. I think it's awesome. It's really cool. Guess it's not really worth much now. <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss out on new videos like this. And most importantly, have a great day.